Hello everyone, it's Ed Runner here. Uh, another video for you. This time it's a follow-up to the work we did on the Jaguar XKR where we fitted the new evaporator to condenser uh, pipe and hose. Uh, what I want to do now is try and regas it. So I'm going to show you where the low pressure uh, point is to connect your little cylinder to. Uh, and I'll show you how to calibrate that cylinder to take into account the local temperature. Uh, right now it's 20 degrees here, here in Horsham, which is 68 Fahrenheit. So I'll show you where to calibrate that on the device itself, how to connect it into the car, uh, and how to hopefully successfully regas things. Hopefully I've changed the right pipe. I don't hear a hissing noise with it leaking out anywhere else. Wish me luck. Um, let's get to it. Let's show you the kit we bought, we bought for the job. So this is the equipment we bought. So you get a little can of uh, aircon recharge. Pretty good you get 10 quid back when you hand these uh, these back in when you've finished this one topping up everyone's cars uh, you go and exchange this you get a full cylinder and they give you 10 back and when you first buy it, it comes in a little kit <coughs> with this little trigger and what's important to note this is uh, your low pressure connection point here uh, so you need to locate where that is in the car and i'll show you that uh, and then importantly uh, there's a, a rotating bezel here in the middle of it hopefully the camera picks this up you can see a little arrow you need to point that uh, just underneath the arrow. There are some temperature readouts. Uh, that they're in, in um, uh, Fahrenheit, so you need to aim that little arrow at 68 because it's 20 degrees here at the moment, which is 68 Fahrenheit. Uh, and then ultimately, we want to uh, pressurise our system so that the black needle fits somewhere between these two guides. I'll aim for right in the middle, um, and in theory, our um, AC should work uh, if there's no other hisses, and I've not miss the leak that I'm supposed to change. So what you can probably tell though is um, if it's hotter where you are when you're doing your regas, you need to set it to the corresponding temperature. In, in this case, this dial reads out in Fahrenheit. So we're going to go for 68. We'll, we'll double check that before we connect it to the car anyway. Uh, so now let's prepare it. So we're going to pop the uh, protective cover off, pull off the little uh, red cap, screw the cylinder into the trigger assembly, and away we go. And I'll show you the rest we have to do in the car in a minute. So with the engine cover off, we've got a bit more hand space. The car's been used, so it's pretty hot up here. But down here, that's the little cap we need to undo. That's our low pressure port. Before we uh, get going with this, we need to shake up the, the can itself. Uh, and throughout the time you're regassing, you need to, so you've got to continually rock it just to keep it mixed. So I'll give it a good shake first. And this collar will squeeze over it. So I'm going to try and do that. You may not be able to see it, but we'll give it a go. Okay, so now we've got it connected. What we're going to do is just quickly double check we've not knocked the dial, which we have. So back down to 78. And as we go, let's keep it moving. So, next thing inside the car. What you've got to do is make sure that the car will switch on the AC compressor and that you've got no chance of it coming on and off. You want the compressor on, circulating the refrigerant all the time you're gassing as soon as it starts the minimum, it hits the minimum pressure level. So in order to do that, you've got to get the engine running. And set your temperature. So in this case, you might have had it up at 18 or something like that, 20, whatever you wanted. But set your temperature down to low. So it's on maximum and the AC is on. So the auto light is off because we've set it manually to low. So it's going to the climate. <coughs> AC is on, okay? So as soon as we get the compressor running, we should go, it's really quite warm as you might expect at the moment. Ambient temperature outside is 20 degrees. So we've set our, our little trigger gun for that. So let's see what happens. Wish me luck. 
terms of adding in, it's just a case of squeezing the trigger. Keeping the cam moving. I think it's leaking still. Let's see. I'm holding good there. Let's go and check in the car. No, at the moment it's not cold, cold. Yes, it is. That's ice cold out of there. Not ice cold out of there. That's really weird. Hot there. I think we're getting there. It's cooler than it ever has been, or for a long time. Let's keep going. Go and check back in the engine bay. Okay, so I think this is a function of a bit of an airlock in the system, if you can hear me, I'm not sure. Uh, so this side is really cold, this side isn't, this is ambient. Arguably it's a bit cooler actually than it was, but this is significantly colder. Uh, same on these vents, so the far vent over there, which is that climate zone, uh, is fine, as this one isn't. So this works of a sort, so I'll, I'll have another look out in the, in the engine bay, see what I can do. I'll disconnect the uh, canister, see if that makes any sort of a difference, and we'll, we'll keep trying. So what's really cool, just by uh, lifting the revs a little bit, which makes the compressor work a little bit more, we now get cold air here, much cooler air, so it might be helping the, uh, the airlock situation come out, or the gas lock, whatever's going on in there, there's something uh, not quite right. Pressures are good, um, that's ice cold here, cooler than it was here. Let's see what happens. Let's keep this process going for a little while. I might go for a drive actually, that might solve it. Okay, so we're going to go for a test drive. I've definitely got cooler air from the driver's side zone now, so I think in time uh, it might work its way through and I have to re-top up later. Can't hear any hissing, doesn't seem to be losing lots of pressure. It's ice cold in the passenger side, so let's go for a little drive. Let's see what happens. So I'm leaving the AC on, full power, uh, full fan, full cooling, just to see what goes. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely better. I'm hoping I've got the right pipe and the leak isn't uh, going to prevail and mean I lose all my refrigerant again. Uh, that'd be dis disappointing. But it seems to be holding good. Yeah, the, the passenger zone is ice fantastic driver sides a lot cooler so if we go for a nice drive bring the revs up a bit get the system really working get the compressor working hard and all the valves open it might uh, who knows might have a self bleeding function who knows I'm hoping the GoPro works down there it's in my phone holder um, there's probably a lot of wind noise over the mic if I move that over there maybe not um, but here we are so we're XKRing it Definitely a lot cooler in the head. It's been in a number of weeks. Let's go. Love this car. And now it's cool, literally. It's cool. See how it goes. Back in a minute. So I've switched it now to auto just to see how it, it copes. Uh, the AC on the driver's side, definitely nice and cold. Really nice and cold. So I'm thinking the, uh, the airlock's gone, which is awesome. Uh, we're going to just a dual carriageway blast because I can, and I love it. Uh, let's see how it goes. But right now, it, it's working beautifully in auto. Got it set at 16 degrees still, so it's going to give it maximum cooling anyway. That's really working well. Um, let's figure it out. Okay, so we're coming up to a dual carriage. We've had a chance to 
boost it a little bit. I think you only need to go over about 1500, 2000 RPM anyway uh, to get the compressor and all the valves open, everything working hard. So uh, I, the driver's side, uh, we're on tick over, is ice. So I think whatever lock there might be in the system, like airlock or gas, whatever, uh, that does appear to be now improved. So I'm hoping that's done the trick. It's holding good now. Um, as I say, it all depends on um, how long it lasts, how long the refrigerator stays in the system. So if it stays in the next few days, it's, it's probably good. The leak's gone, I've got the right pipe, everything's fine. I heard the dealer when they said it was that compressor, uh, condenser to evaporate a pipe, and I've got the right one. Uh, could have misheard, of course. Could have been, uh, yeah, driver's side still not as cold, to be fair. It's not bad. Right now, uh, I'm happy enough with that. Um, I'll work through over the next few days. Um, now I've used the car, I'll let it all cool down, and I'll start it up again, see if I've still got any pressure in the system, if I need to uh, regas it or not, and we'll go from there. But other than that, successful mission. I have air conditioning. So all that effort to get that pipe changed, painful process, literally, with my right wrist. Um, all that effort to get the pipe work changed has been worth it. Uh, I have AC, so that's fantastic. I'm dead pleased. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll just ping around on this roundabout now and uh, give it some berries. So enjoy the XKR. Let's knock the AC off so you can hear it now. A machine. <laughs> this car. So what I've done, so I've just cranked the temperature up. Let's just say, uh, I don't know, 20, 21. That should switch the AC off completely, which it has done. So I've got sort of normal temperate air coming out. It's no problem. Let's turn the seats off as well because they're making a noise. So I've turned the, the ventilated seats off as well so now we're a lot better a lot quieter here we go to get one of these hope you enjoyed watching this Ed Runner video uh, so you can do stuff on your own driveway no matter what the car is you can get the AC working again uh, just diagnose the stuff that's right that's wrong in the first place change the parts a bit of canny shopping on eBay and what was nearly 800 quid that the dealer wanted I've done for less than 150 pounds in fact a lot less than that no, 130 140 quid so happy days thanks for watching subscribe for more videos on this beautiful xkr on my fantastic z1000 sx uh, there's a load of content coming on that in fact very soon we're going to be looking at uh, mounting the hero session 5 gopro that we just got on the tail end of the bike to try and pick up some really cool video stabilized shots <laughs> See you soon.